nice one called Dudes. It is a sunny but somewhat windy morning and I'm here in Dover about to undertake an 11 mile walk from Dover to Deal. This walk is from the Saturday Walkers Club and accompanying me on the walk is everyone's favourite special guest, Carlos. Right, that's enough of that business. All right, it's time to get going. Good luck everyone, especially us. Sunday mornings are always very strange places to be on high streets. It feels a bit like after the apocalypse. We're we'll pleased to hear they've opened up a portal to another world in Dover. I hope it's paradise. Dover Castle up there, cool dudes. And you can see old tunnels built into it as well. Very interesting. Dover is a very peculiar place, cool dudes. It feels like a mashup of a very, very old town undergoing some sort of half a regeneration. But then there's lots of uh, Poor people here as well. Quite a peculiar feel to it. I can't put my finger on it, as you might be able to tell. The beauty of the views of being voided by the amount of people around. Carlos is consistent on taking me on the worst walks. This is a very popular walk, especially among tourists. It feels like one of the things that people have to tick off on their walks of the UK, even though there are tons of coastal paths to go on. Some people in the distance, mentally close to the cliff edge, taking selfies. And you can see the white chalk where it's recently fallen away. Literally sitting on the edge of the cliff. When I was in my 20s, I taught English as a foreign language. It was quite interesting because when the students come over, they would do the same things, like visit London, Cambridge, and all the tourist things. So they never really got an idea of what Britain was like. This feels like one of those walks which isn't really like what the rest of the coastal paths are like. So cool dudes, that is my question of the day. What experiences do you think are quintessentially British that people should do when they come to the UK? Please write your answers below. Mine would be full English breakfast, possibly a roast dinner, waiting an hour for a bus, overhearing a really boring conversation, and having to listen to it for a, an hour on that bus. Uh, quintessentially British experiences. Discussing the weather and feral, disrespectful youths. doing guided tours here of a Second World War bunker. This is the layout of it all here. Pretty huge. Spitfire flying over, cool dudes. You can really imagine the Battle of Britain taking place out over the channel. Pretty exciting stuff. Here are the ice creams available. What do you think I went for, cool dudes? Have a guess.
It was Jamaican rum and raisin. And guess what Carlos had? Strawberries and cream. I was just starting to enjoy the walk when I began discussing films with Carlos, who thinks that American wealth in London is rubbish. So now I think Carlos is an idiot. Did you hear that? Yes, I heard it. I think I'll have some people agreeing with me in the comments that London is overrated. It's just three or four miles along a flat path beside the beach, quite a shingly beach. If you like to escape the general public, then I would say don't go on this walk because it's one of the busier walks that I've done. What do you think of the walk, Carlos? It's all right, it is very busy, that is true. So yeah, if you want to avoid the crowds, probably best to avoid this walk. I've just said that. Well, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm agreeing with you, I concur. But, you know, there's some, it's a pretty classic walk, though. They say you've done the White Cliffs, so at least you can tick that off, I suppose. Last night when I was at Carlos's house, we were discussing with his partner the name, the Kentish Pilgrim. And me and his partner both agreed we didn't think it was suitable, but Carlos did. So the alternative that I suggested was Castle Velez. What a fantastic name. Carlos didn't like it. But can you think of a better alternative to the Kentish Pilgrim? Please write it below. I'm sure Carlos would find it very useful. Wouldn't you, Carlos? I can't wait to read these comments. Edge of my seat stuff right now. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Castle Velez. This street here called Dude is called Middle Street and according to this historic deal sign, it was rife with beatings and stabbings and naked women running down the street and landlords stealing money until back in 1700, a mayor called Thomas Powell resolved to reform it and he would walk the streets with a big stick, closing all the pubs and unlicensed businesses. Also, he once gave a prostitute 12 lashes. So, do you know what? Watch out for Thomas Powell if you're mucking around down here. Well, cool dude, it's almost the end of the walk now. If you've enjoyed that and would like to see more walks, why not join the Cool Dudes Walking Club? How can I do that? Go to YouTube, click on this link, and you can choose what tier you want, from 99p a month to 8 99 if you're very generous. What do I get for that though? Well, you get to watch members only videos, you get to use these emojis, and you get entered into the prize draw at the end of every video. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm definitely going to join right away. Are you Carlos? Yes, I am. I'm going to join right now. Yes, well done Carlos. He's done one thing right today. Nice one, cool dudes. We finally made it to Deal Station. That walk was almost 12 miles. It took us about seven hours, but that was with quite a few stops. A interesting walk 
but not my favourite. Anyway, prize draw for members coming next. Oh yeah, one more thing. Stay cool. stunning watercolour of the White Cliffs of Dover. This can be yours for how much? Well, currently £12.50 on eBay. Please bid. Right, it is time for the prize draw. Currently, there are 438 excellent cool dudes who have joined on YouTube. And this week's prize draw includes this signed copy of Carnival of the Lost. This is a a book written by my brother. Um, it was originally published, published as a book called Freaks, but he's rewritten it and it's been republished. I'm reading it now. It is excellent. You can get all of his uh, titles on Amazon. But this is in the prize draw, along with a White Kiss of Dover pencil, card by Stripey Art, key ring by Cow's Laser, and then the stickers. What a great prize. It's time to say... Random number generator, generate me a number. Generate five. Excellent. I'm so pleased one of the early members has won this. And the person who is a member for the fifth longest, so these numbers are not anything to do with the Call of Duty numbers. This is just all the current 148 members on YouTube put in order of time they've been a member. And the fifth longest member is rent -A ghost who has been a cool dude YouTube member for 34 months. Nice one. Please email me and I'll get this in the post to you. That is it. Oh yes, one more thing. Stay cool. 